March 1978, earth-moving work is started for the construction of power generating Unit 1. The work was completed by September. Treatment facilities commissioned in April 1978. Resolution N352119 of April 17, 1979 from the Council of Ministers of the USSR was go ahead for the construction of the INPP. By that time, all the subsurface works were completed for Unit 1. The foundation pit was 7 meters deep. In accordance with the order given by the Minister of Machine Building Industry, 10 all-union ministries and 45 all-union factories were to ensure that Unit 1 was commissioned by 1982. The same month, work was commenced on concreting the vault of Reactor 1 and concrete elements of emergency protection system. In the beginning of 1980, Erection of water barriers was completed. Earth moving works for Unit 2 completed by September. In the beginning of 1981, the walls of the accident confinement system raised to a height of 20 meters and concreting of Unit 1 vault completed. Erection began of metal elements in the reactor hull from plus 25 up to 63.5 meters. By October, the walls of the reactor hull raised to plus 43 meters. In December, works commenced in the communication corridor. In July 1982, erection of fuel lines completed in the reactor vault, and in August, erection of the graphite stack completed. In August, erection of turbo generators commenced, and in September and October, that of steam separators and fuel channels respectively. On December 31st, 1983, Unit 1 commissioned. Construction of Unit 3 commenced. In 1986, all erection works were being completed. Originally, Unit 2 was to be launched in 1986, but commissioning postponed to the year 1987 because of the Chernobyl accident. On August 31st, 1987, Unit 2 commissioned. By that time, 60% of Unit 3 was completed, but subsequently, all construction work was discontinued. 1989, the construction of Unit 3 discontinued altogether. It took 11 years to build the world's most powerful nuclear plant.